Hello and welcome to uh, the Vocabulary Builder. This is number four um, for Victor's Adventures in Spain. Okay, so before we start, I just want to mention something about the music, okay? I've been putting music on the, in the background because music, I find, helps people to remember. If you listen with music, then uh, it, it kind of makes a little bit of a link. However, some people love it and some people hate it. So what I'm doing is I will always upload two videos, one with music, one without. You can see it in the title. In the playlists in YouTube, you'll see music with, uh, video with and video without, okay? So for those who don't like music, you don't worry about it, you won't have it. And for those who do like the music, it will be there. Okay, so we're starting with the seas, okay, moving through. And the first word that we're learning today is draw. Now that's the draw that you would have, uh, perhaps you would keep your knives and forks in or things, yeah, a draw. And that word is cajón. Cajón. Okay, be careful with that accent, it's on the end, cajón. Now, this is easy to remember because all you have to imagine is you open your knife and fork drawer, but there aren't knives and forks in there. There's actually a steering wheel, a car steering wheel. And in the middle of the steering wheel, there's a horn, a car horn, okay? And you press it, you open your drawer and you go, oh, look, there's a car horn. <coughs> Cajón, car horn, okay? Big steering wheel, car horn in it. Okay, easy that one. Next one is the word waiter, waiter, okay? And that is camarero, camarero. Now, again, this is a nice easy one to remember. So you, you're in a restaurant and the waiter comes to the table, but he doesn't come in a normal fashion. He comes on a camel, okay? And he rides up to the table and says, um, Que le traigo? That's the camel, by the way. Okay, so wait is on a camel, camarero. And just as an aside, if you wanted to make that a woman, you would just change the O to an A and it would be camarero, camarera, I should say. So, wait it comes to the table, on a camel, camarero. Okay, next one, shirt shirt. So this is, can be a shirt that a, a man wears, it can be a shirt that a woman wears, and it's camisa, camisa. Okay, we have words like camisole, which are, I don't know, you don't even know what it is. Okay, but this is how you remember camisa. Okay, you go to the shop and you want to buy a shirt and the uh, shop attendant says to you, come here, sir and I'll show you some shirts. It's a bit creepy really, isn't it? Come here, sir, camisa, camisa. Shirt, okay. Next one, tired, tired. Now this isn't sleepy tired, this is tired uh, as in, oh, I've worked really hard and I'm tired, okay? And that is cansado. Cansado. Okay, now this is how you're going to remember it. I want you to imagine a can, your favorite can. It might be a can of beans, a can of pop, a can of soda, if you want to call it that. Whatever you want. So it's a can. And the cans had a hard day. The cans had a hard day. The can's very tired, imagine. I don't know what a tired can would look like. Okay, the cans had a hard day. Cans had a hard day. Cansado. Cansado. Okay, so very tired can, tired of being opened. Okay, next one is chapter. Okay, chapter, as in a chapter of a book. And that word is capitulo. Capitulo. Careful with the accent, notice the accent on that word. Capitulo. Now, how you remember this is, imagine that the chapter, okay, there's a chapter in the book. And imagine you just put a cap on it. 
you put a big cap on the chapter, okay? Because titulo, as in what's in that word capitulo, okay? Titulo is the title, okay? So it's like you're putting a title and a cap on the chapter. Cap on the chapter, capitulo. Mm -hmm. Cap and the title. Okay, face. Face is cara. Cara. Okay. Easy to remember this one. Imagine a, you look at somebody and they've got a big carrot sticking out of the face. Big orange carrot. Cara. Yeah. Nice and easy, that one. All right. This one is house. So this word is house and it's casa. Everybody knows casa. Mi casa es su casa. It's a very famous, my house is your house, very famous expression. Okay. Casa, how you remember casa is easy because it sounds like castle. And every man's home and every woman's home is their castle. Okay. So imagine you live in a castle. Casa. Nice and easy, that one. So the next word is linked, in a way, because it's the word nearly, nearly, or nearly, or nearly. Depends how you want to say it. Uh, but as in, as in, I nearly got there, okay? And that word is casi. Casi, okay? So it's really, it's nearly casa, okay? It's nearly casa, but not quite. So I've got a, um, you can imagine you say my house is nearly a house, it's not quite, casi, casi una casa. Okay, so nearly casi, nearly a house. Then we've got center. Now, this is used for the town centre. It can be the centre of something, but quite often it's used to say, I'm going to the town centre, okay? And the word is centro. Centro. Now, I'm saying it with, a, with an accent, okay? That's from the Peninsula Spanish accent, centro. And in other countries, um, they'll say centro, centro. So it's virtually the same word, isn't it? Centre, centro. All you're doing is putting an O on the end, that old favourite trick that many people do. Just stick an O on the end, if in doubt. Centro, centro, okay? So you just put an O on the end. And then, this next word is boy. And it'll also be for girl, I'll explain that in a moment. But boy, okay? And boy is... Chico. Chico. Okay, so imagine a little boy and he's got really big cheeks. Blah. Okay, he's very cheeky. Chico. So a boy that's got really big, big cheeks. Maybe he's got 10 gobstoppers in his mouth. Chico. And therefore, if you wanted to say girl, you would just change the O to an A, which is very typical in Spanish, chica. Okay, so boy, chico. Okay, now I think we've got time for one more. This one is sausage. It's the special sausage that um, uh, that's produced in Spain and when other, other Spanish-speaking countries, which is called chorizo. Chorizo, okay? Now, chorizo, if you've ever eaten chorizo, you'd know that if you tried to eat a whole one, it would be a, it would be a chore. It would be a chore to eat a chorizo because they're very, very chewy. And it would be an especially big chore for me because I'm vegetarian, so that would be a problem, okay? So chorizo, chore. Now, let me just help you with, with this word. This word, most, most countries know chorizo, 
okay? But the pronunciation, oh man, it's so bad. Now I'm saying chorizo because I'm making the Z into a th, okay? However, if you have the other kind of the ceseo, then you're gonna say chorizo, chorizo, with an S, yeah? Chorizo, okay? But the, I've heard chorizo with a, with a T, you know, and I'll tell you why, because when we say pizza, it's like a Z and we put a T in, we say pizza, okay, but you don't need a T in this. It's chorizo or chorizo, okay? And my sister says chorizo. Where she got that from, I have no idea, but not right. Chorizo. Okay, so there you are. So we'll bring that to an end and I'm going to do a quick check now for you, okay? Are you ready? So off we go. What is cajon? Cajon. Okay. Beep, beep. That's right. It's a draw. Yeah. Looking at the car horn in the draw. Okay. Next one. What is camarero? Que le traigo? Yeah. It's a waiter on a camel. Okay. Then we've got camisa. Camisa. That's right, somebody's saying, come here, sir, and I'll show you a shirt. So camisa, shirt. Next one, cansado. Cansado. You're looking at a can, and what is it? It's tired. Cansado. Mm-hmm. Next one, capitulo. So it's a titolo with a cap on. What is it? You're putting a cap on the chapter. Exactly. Capitolo, chapter. Next one, cara. Cara. Big carrot sticking out of the face. Cara. This one's easy. Casa. Casa is a house, of course. Every man's home is his castle. Casa. And then this one linked, casi. Casi. Because it's nearly a house, isn't it? Casi una casa. So casi is nearly. Or nearly. Or nearly. Then we've got centro or centro. What's that? Of course, it's the center or the town center. Mm -hmm. So just stick a no on the end. Then we've got chico. Who's got big cheeks? A boy, exactly. Chico, a boy, and a girl, chica. Mm -hmm. And then the last one, chorizo, chorizo. Yeah, it's a chore to eat a what? A chorizo sausage, yeah, chorizo. Okay, so there you are. We're gonna go into uh, video five, audio five, which is the still in the seas. Okay, entonces, hasta luego. How did you do, by the way? Did you remember them? I'm sure you did. Hasta luego, nos vemos.